Yo, what is going on YouTube? So, the size is switched to my Sony camera. Because probably it's better quality, but... Anyhow, today we're going to be reviewing this. The Nerf Mega Motor Strike. So, let's take a more in-depth look at this thing. So, starting up with the front, obviously, as you can see, there is no barrel attachment because it's obviously a Mega Blaster, not an Elite Blaster. And people call this the Mega Strife, since it's pretty much what it is. It does very similar to a Strife, semi-auto, takes batteries, but instead, it shoots Mega Darts. And for some reason, if you guys don't know what Mega Dart is, it's basically these big behemoth looking things right here. So you see those big darts? And speaking of the, the dart, let's get to the magazine while we're at it. So the magazine that comes with the Motor Strike is a 10 round magazine. And obviously you can use the Mega Centurion mag in this blaster and also this mag can go in the Centurion of course. So what you load it, pretty simple, you know, you just push darts in until you get full, you know, capacity which is 10 Mega Darts. They paint it one side of the mag clear and on the other side it's just red like the blaster. And the way the mag goes in, I mean, it's not too smooth. But you kind of have to rig it to get it in there, giggity. But yeah, like I said, this uh, blaster cannot run without batteries. So um, back here in the stock, you take off uh, that battery tray. So as you can see, there's a fill, there's a screw right there. You know, you take out that uh, screw and then remove your battery tray and install four C batteries. Just to keep that in note, do not get D batteries. I'm thinking it's C batteries. There's difference between size, giggity, but. Yeah, you will require 4C batteries for this thing since Nerf doesn't come with some, even though their blaster costs probably like 10 times the price of others. But anyhow, that's Nerf. What do you do? So yeah, and up top, uh, just right um, up top of the carrying handle is a tactical rail right there. So maybe you can add like attachments or something like that if you guys so choose. And there are uh, iron sights, so two blade in the rear. The one in the front right up here so you can aim but uh, I only recommend aiming with Accu Strike Mega Darts which are you know the more accurate uh, dart than regular Mega Darts because regular Mega Darts do whistle which I do like that sound a lot but also there's a negative thing because it shoots inaccurate and that's the only negative thing but pretty fun to shoot so yeah as you can see, Motor Strike, um, Nerf, and Mega are painted on the right-hand side, but as you would all know, they decided to run out of paint. No, I'm just kidding. Probably Nerf never runs out of paint, but they're just lazy to do it, probably because they're being cheap. So, yeah. And there are sling mounts on this, uh, on this blaster, and it's actually inappropriate, or appropriate, depending on how you take it. But there are two sling mounts, so one here. And one here. So, I don't think this will be appropriate. More of like inappropriate because it's more back heavy due to the batteries being stored uh, behind the stock. So it'll be kind of weird. So I wouldn't call this appropriate really. I would call this kind of inappropriate to carry this blaster around and that's freaking headed. But <laughs> anyways, down here is a nice uh, little, you know, grippy thing. So I guess you can you know, hold the blaster in a pretty comfortable way. And the stock is good length, you know, easy to aim, easy to shoulder, so I do like that a lot. Has this like little cheek rest back here, even though this it's not considered to call it a cheek rest, but I'm gonna call it that because that's where I lay your cheeks to aim down the sides. So yeah, and to the grip and the trigger area, rev trigger. So it is a thumb hole stock grip, but it doesn't interfere with my wrist, so I do like that a lot. And trigger pull is pretty smooth. And um, a lot of people were complaining that the trigger spring or the trigger return on this is absolutely terrible, but mine without the mag. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask for the trigger lock, so you can't rev without the mag and you can't fire. But I heard a lot of people complain about the trigger uh, return spring being too weak, that it can't. Um, you know, return back and you have to do it manually. So, I heard a lot of people complain about that, but mine had no problem. 
even though I bought my used off of a third store and not brand new. So yeah. But if you guys do get a lemon, I mean, I'm not really sure because I'm not sure if Nerf made a newer version of it or they fixed it or somebody just opened it up and replaced the trigger return spring. I'm not so sure on the one I bought if it was modified or not since I did not open it up yet. But, you know, I'll find out later on when I open up this blaster to check it out. But yeah, rev switch is very comfortable. I mean, I do like it a lot. It does have a slow rev up, even though with new batteries in here. I'm going to show you guys the rev up now. There you go. Takes about a, a second or two to rev up. And actually the batteries in here, sometimes they get uh, loose just like they did. So that's probably why I couldn't rev the blaster. But it has a very slow rev up, even though with a uh, mile new batteries. Yeah, it has a very slow rev up, but hmm, that's kind of odd. But yeah, without further ado, it's pretty much a Mega Strife. You love your batteries, you love your mag, and you... That model pew pew away. So let's get to the fire and test and see how the motor strike shoots. First, starting off with semi auto. And now a little faster. Attempting to finger bang if it will even let me. Okay, so as you guys can see, that was the firing test of the Nerf Mega Motor Strike. And while I was firing, the trigger kind of locked up on me a little bit. So I was kind of surprised, but I'm glad that I didn't have that trigger return spring problem like Coop 72 did with his. Or with uh, Lord Dragon now. So, yeah, but the batteries in here, they're kind of loose sometimes. And while this thing is revving, it kind of vibrates the batteries in there. Allowing it to come loose and you can't wrap the blaster like it did happen to me earlier. So, yeah. But without further ado, has a very slow rev up, which I'm not a fan of, but I kind of get why they did it because since the motor is so big and it's, you know, once you press that rev switch, it's, you know, taking a lot of current to it. So, you know, it takes a few seconds to rev up, but. I probably need to put some new batteries in mine. Mine's are, these are pretty new batteries that haven't been used so much, but, you know, I'm going to be uh, putting in some new fresh C batteries, so, yeah, so I can get maximum performance, but, yeah, overall fire test, pretty smooth. The trigger, it's pretty smooth in my opinion. Kind of locked up on me, but it only happens like once in a while, so I guess it's not too big of a deal. So, yeah, overall, this is pretty much a bigger strike. And when it first came out, it was 40 US dollars, but now you can pretty much find it on Amazon for at least like 20 to like 30 bucks, I'm guessing, depending on where you buy it. So, yeah. But overall, I mean, it's very, very comfortable. I do like the way the motor strike feels. You know, I just don't like that. It's kind of back heavy due to the C batteries, but it's always better than D batteries because D battery is pretty much going to make this thing more powerful, but it also makes it more back heavy. Yeah, I wish they put the battery somewhere in like the middle or somewhere where it'll be balanced. I mean, it's not too bad, you know, I can make it work, but I like to see Nerf change some things here. So, yeah, overall, works pretty well. Mac release is pretty much smooth, you know, right next to the rev switch. So, yeah, overall, the motor strike performs pretty well. I mean, nothing to really zonk about it, you know what I'm saying? And uh, there's an access door right there. Right in there so you can open it to clear any chance amount functions that you guys would like so yeah like the paint job like the logo mega 
Mega is one of my favorite Nerf lines, so yeah. But pretty much a bigger strife, and of course I will throw up the link in the description down below if you guys want to purchase a motor strike for yourself, of course. So yeah, without further ado, that's all about this uh, review. I hope you guys enjoy uh, this video. If you guys do, make sure to smash that like button, comment, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. Yeah, without further ado, that's all about this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.